Hi, good morning everyone. Today I would like to uh, share or talk about uh, different types of plant tissue culture. So uh, before we proceed with plant tissue culture, I would like to explain what is actually the uh, unique part of the plant that enable it to grow or culture uh, in vitro. So uh, plant tissue or cell plant has a specific mechanism uh, that's called totipotency, which is the ability of a single cell to divide and produce all of the differentiated cell in an organism. So a single plant cell can either grow into a garment or can either grow into a shoot, uh, roots and so on. So uh, cytodifferentiation is the differentiation or redifferentiation associated with vascular tissue, particularly tracheary element. And uh, xylogenesis is the differentiation of a parent chyma into cell that have uh, localized secondary wall thickening as seen in xylem or vascular plant. So all these types of the uh, cell differentiation will lead to the formations of callus and regenerations of the callus into a different plant type. So culture system. Uh, the first or a very famous one is the callus. So the advantages of callus is it's composed of very homogeneous mass of the cell and can be proliferate into large amount in known culture conditions. So uh, as in my uh, lectures before, I already mentioned that the uh, types or combinations of different uh, hormone, uh, which is auxin and cytokinin, that can induce the formations of the callus. This is an uh, example pictures of a uh, callus, and this is the example of the uh, initiation of differentiation. So the plant will initiate uh, and uh, uh, develop different types of the uh, plant uh, organism. So we have also a suspension culture, which is a culture consists of cell or cell aggregated initiated by placing the catalyst that I show uh, in previous slide uh, into a liquid medium with the agitation. So it's uh, called suspension culture because the catalyst cell is suspended onto the uh, neutral medium. So the function is uh, the uh, obliquer platform or shaker. The function is to break the cell aggregated into single cell or uniform distribution in liquid media so that each cell can uh, absorb the uh, nutrient equally. So uh, we have uh, many different uh, system, different types of the uh, suspension culture, which I will explain later on. Uh, which is more based on the bioreactor design. And then we have the protoplast culture. So protoplast culture, as you see here, is mean that it's a naked cell. Naked cells mean that the plant cell, that the cell wall has been tripped off. So there is a lot of mechanism uh, which can be used to uh, remove the cell wall of the plant. So then the protoplast culture uh, can be used to generate into the whole plant, uh, maybe via the indirect uh, group cell that firstly develop to callus and then only uh, regenerate or recover into shoot or tips. So uh, this is examples of the protoplast that without the cell wall, so we know that the cell wall can uh, help the plant to pack themselves into a very systematic layout. So and then without the um, cell wall, actually the protoplast have the uh, charges that can further apply into uh, genetic transformations where we can uh, uh, merging the two types or different types of the protoplast within different species to generate into the new plant species. So this one is the um, simple explanations of the uh, culture of protoplasts where we can have to firstly strip off the epidermis of the plant and then uh, remove the cell wall and we can uh, then uh, isolate the protoplasts uh, 
So the protoplast culture that being isolated can be subcultured into different uh, nutrient medium containing different types of the hormone to initiate the regeneration of the callus. And then uh, uh, subculture of the callus into different types of the hormone to induce the uh, formation of the shoot or root tips of the plant until it's generated to become the full plantlet. So you can read more on uh, protoplast, how to and uh, uh, produce the obtain the protoplast and isolations and generations uh, using this link. So uh, then we have different uh, system which is the haploid productions as you can see here. Uh, haploid means that is the chromosome reduced by uh, half. So it's normally denoted by the N in the uh, genetics uh, study. So the uh, uh, callus culture, suspension culture that I mentioned, or protoplast culture, is all contain the double chromosomal numbers, which is the two N. So the haploid culture, the production has the potential to make significant advantage in providing high and stable and predictive yield of the raw biochemical process by pharmaceutical and nutraceutical industrial. So um, haploid culture, you can imagine, is uh, a culture of uh, gametes. So uh, it can be uh, culture of uh, female or male uh, organ. So enhanced by chemical treatment, uh, chlorophenol, uh, chlorophenicol and parafluorophenylalanin may induce uh, chromosome eliminations in somatic cell or tissue. Uh, uh, temperature shock such as high or very low in suppressions of syngamy and uh, inductions of the haploid is useful. So irradiation effect also is useful to induce breakage in chromosome resulting in the elimination and uh, subsequently haploid uh, production. Uh, so this diagram uh, basically uh, simplifies all types of the uh, haploid and how we can uh, produce them. So as I mentioned in the previous slide, haploid plant are characterized by possessing only a single set of the chromosome which is uh, N haploid. It is a uh, contrast to the diploid cell, which is uh, two N of the chromosome. So haploid plants are of, uh, of course, is a great interest uh, for the scientists or researcher because it is, uh, it is a significant method for mass production of homozygous line. Uh, as we know that the uh, genetic allele uh, we have uh, two pair of genetic value for one uh, genetic locus. So this allele uh, have uh, either uh, when uh, produce the zygotes. So the zygote is either uh, homozygote line or they have the heterozygote line. So this haploid culture is very important to produce only the homozygote plants for the improvement of the plant in a plant breeding program. So uh, also we have, uh, if you look at based on here, we have two types of the uh, haploid cell, which is the first is monoploid, which are the haploid that process half the number of the chromosome from a diploid species. And also another is a polyhaploid. So poly means that it is uh, more than one, uh, but it is haploid. This is the haploid processing half the number of chromosomes from a polypoid species. Polypoid species is, we can give an example uh, like wheat, potato, even though they proceed the haploid, but the uh, genetic makeup is a uh, polypoid. Okay, so um, they have a, a different techniques to produce the haploid plant. Uh, firstly, is the androgenesis which is the development of an uh, egg cell containing male nucleus. If you see here, it's a male genetic nucleus, uh, which show in the black color. Uh, that's uh, referred to as androgenesis. So for a successful in vitro androgenesis, the egg nucleus has to be inactivated or eliminated before the fertilization. So after the egg will be uh, eliminate or not activated 
So after the fertilization, you will produce only the uh, sperm, the female. So another uh, is the uh, haploid culture of the female uh, uh, female cell, which is the uh, unfertilized egg, and then can be manipulated uh, by delayed pollinations uh, to develop a haploid plant. So this is the uh, uh, culture of the only the egg cell. We call it a, a gymnogenesis. And then we have uh, distant hybridizations uh, that can distant hybridizations uh, is here. Hybrid can be produced by eliminations of one of the parental genome as a result of distant uh, interspecies or intergenetic causes for hybridizations. And then we have also irradiated uh, effect where. Uh, ultraviolet rays or extra used uh, to induce the chromosomal breakage and the subsequent elimination to produce the haploids. So uh, then we have also the last one is uh, chemical uh, treatment. For example, so you, here you can have also the chemical treatment. Uh, certain chemical, for example, uh, uh, chlorophenicol, uh, crocainine. Uh, nitro oxide, malic hydroxide can also induce the chromosomal elimination in a somatic cell, which may result to the haploid cell productions. So let's uh, look at the androgenesis, like I mentioned uh, before. The androgenesis is the uh, culture of uh, male organ. So, uh, in androgenesis, the male gametophyte, either microspore or immature pollen, uh, will produce will be used to produce haploid plant. So, basic principle is to stop the development of the pollen cell into a gamete or to the sex cell, sex cell, and force it to develop into the haploid plant. There are two approach in the androgenesis. This is enter culture and uh, pollen uh, culture. So young plant uh, grown under optimal conditions of light, temperature and humidity are suitable for androgenesis. So uh, the look at here the, 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 the life cycle of uh, culture. The selected flower bud of a young plant are surface uh, sterile first and the anther removed along with the uh, filament. Uh, the anther are uh, excited under aseptic conditions So uh, and crushed in 1% of acetylcarmide to test the stage of the pollen development. If they are at the correct stages, each enter is generally separated from the filament and the uh, intact uh, enter should not be used in uh, uh, culture as they result in calcing of uh, enter wall tissue. So we need to remove it. Uh, the enter culture are maintained in alternating period of light, uh, 12 to 18 hours and the darkness and a suitable optimal uh, temperature as the enter proliferate they produce colors which later form an embryo and then a uh, haploid plant at the end so uh, the pollen culture also uh, a little bit similar haploid plant can also be produced from immature pollen or microspore make it as a gamma gametophyte uh, cell the pollen can be extracted by pressing and squeezing the enter with a glass rod again the side of the beaker then you uh, obtain the pollen and you suspend the pollen in filter to remove the enter tissue debris so we have a large pollen small uh, pollen that do not regenerate are uh, concentrated by filtration and we wash it and collect it so this pollen are uh, then cultured in a solid liquid medium and uh, the process will be uh, similar so uh, comparison between enter and uh, pollen culture. So enter culture is easy, quick and um, practical. Enter wall act as uh, conditioning factors and promote culture uh, growth. Thus enter uh, culture are reasonably efficient for haploid production. The major limitation is that the plant not only originate from uh, pollen but also from other part of the enter which 
result in the populations of the plant at different uh, polity level. Uh, you can check on the deploy and deploy. The uh, disadvantage associated with enter culture can be also overcome by the uh, pollen uh, culture. So uh, another uh, alternative uh, part of endogenesis to produce hopper culture is to use the uh, gymnogenesis. So a gymnogenesis is the um, haploid plant uh, by ovary cultivations, uh, ovary or ovule culture. Lah. So um, the basic or uh, a very brief uh, laboratory uh, step is first uh, taking the rubber bud and uh, excite it's in uh, between 24 to 24 hours prior to enterosis from uh, unpollinated uh, ovary. So then after that, the flower bud, we need to remove the calyx, the corolla and the stamen of the ovary. And then the ovary are subjected to surface the round and uh, the ovary will be cut uh, and at the distal part of the peggy cycle and uh, inserted into the uh, solid culture media. Uh, however, the method of uh, genogenesis of the upper culture uh, production has been successful only in a very, very limited study. So, there are the uh, limitation, a major limitation, uh, such as uh, the first is the dissections of unfertilized ovule or ovary is a very, very difficult job, uh, require a very professional uh, expert. And secondly, is the present of the only one ovary per flower uh, is the disadvantage compared to the uh, pollen or androgenesis culture where a large number of the microspore in one, uh, uh, one uh, uh, plant can be found. So, uh, and then uh, the next is the organ culture. So, uh, example of a uh, famous organ culture is the root culture that are usually not helpful for giving rise to the complete plant but they have importance of their own uh, such as, uh, for example, if you want to culture only the, the ginseng that you culture the root ginseng to produce the high level of secondary metabolite uh, from the root ginseng, for example. So, you don't need to culture the whole plant with the leaf with the stem. And uh, then uh, this organ culture is a uh, very fast grow under uh, grow, uh, even under hormone free medium and is uh, genetically stable. So uh, another example, uh, the organ culture can be uh, shoot culture. So a potent method for rapid propagation of the plant. Uh, in this technique, the shoot apical meristem is cultured on a suitable medium. Uh, which is uh, also referred as uh, meristem uh, culture. The apical meristem of a shoot is the portion of which is lying beyond the youngest leaf uh, primordium. Meristem tips uh, culture is also beneficial for recovery of the pathogen-free, uh, special uh, especially virus-free plant through the tissue culture technique. Various stages in this culture proceed are the initiation of the culture, shoot modification, Rooting of shoot and finally uh, can transfer to the plant, uh, to the pot or the, the field. So this is a very uh, simple and um, uh, wisely used uh, tissue culture method. So uh, the next one is the uh, three point production. So uh, we have uh, deployed, we have haploid, and then now we talk about the deployed production. So it's uh, also known as the endosperm culture. So if you recall the uh, uh, development of a uh, plant, the endosperm is actually formed after the double fertilization of one male nucleus with the two polar nuclei. So the immature endosperm has more potential of growth in culture, especially among the uh, cereal. So uh, the characteristic of the diploid plant are uh, it is uh, self-toral and usually seedless. 
The trail increased edibility of the fruit and is desirable in plants such as the apple, banana, grape, watermelon and mango which are uh, commercially important. So this is the how they select the uh, uh, triple productions. So um, they have a few uh, advantage of the uh, tipro productions. Uh, one of these is, is can prolong the uh, flowering period. So although one of the chief characteristic of true tree point is a uh, partial or totally sterile, uh, this sterility can be horticulturally useful. So flower of tree point plant are genetically larger and more colorful and those of the deployed uh, counterpart, partly because of the energy that is uh, normally devoted to seed formation is used for the flower or other uh, organ uh, development. So, uh, tree plant flower often have longer shelf life, and the tree plant plants require little or not dead holding. So, uh, to improve the overall uh, flower uh, uh, performance, so it can be used for neutralization of invasive uh, plant. For example, if you uh, can imagine the uh, uh, weed that can invade in the the crop. Uh, Productions area. So if we can introduce the wheat with uh, sterilizations or deployed productions, so it cannot be uh, pollinated and cannot uh, fertilize and produce the next generation. So it can eliminate or can reduce the uh, population of invasive species. So this is the two advantages of the deployed production. So, uh, uh, tree point formations uh, by hybridization of tree point endosperm can be recovered from different uh, merging of the different uh, deployed parents. So, here is the example of the four types of the uh, deployed formations, and uh, further reading is uh, provided in this uh, two uh, reading. So, example of the uh, product. Uh, application or uh, plant tissue culture ex uh, application is the uh, significant in the pharmaceutical industry, the food industry, and cosmetic, uh, such as uh, productions of uh, uh, bioactive compound in certain plant plant that easy be cultivated in uh, in vitro culture, such as the uh, siconin. Uh, Rich reddish purple pigment uh, for lipstick productions. Uh, Ginsenoside used as a food additive and a whitening substance. Uh, Peclitaxel, uh, which is also the well-known anti-cancer drug. So all this and uh, all this active uh, compound uh, is very uh, limited amount in the whole plant cell. So for uh, cultivations of the specific plant plant that uh, produce this uh, secondary metabolite can enhance its production and uh, shorten the time frame for uh, uh, cultivation or for uh, production of this uh, secondary metabolite. So uh, plant-made protein have been produced uh, in proof of principle study. A landmark success in the manufacturing of plant cell culture-based protein was the first registration of uh, PMP in February 2006, which was for the vaccines against Newcastle disease virus. So, I believe uh, when you search from the internet, you can see uh, a lot more example of the uh, plant tissue culture application. So, in order to uh, efficiently culture the uh, uh, cell suspension, especially uh, in tissue culture lab, there are many types of bioreactor to uh, easy to make the maintenance job easier that you can see here uh, a lot of the types of bioreactor but they have the same uh, similar principle as a normal uh, tissue culture bus uh, flash uh, flux that have the inlet which you can uh, is an input of the nutrient and you have an outlet that uh, to discuss the uh, uh, waste nutrient and also the plant material for you to collect or harvest the plant material. This system will be uh, put or maintained in the, uh, the uh, optimum temperatures and also uh, provide with some uh, agitation inside the, the system. 
So uh, the purpose is to uh, reduce the exposure of the uh, plant sample uh, when you always need to subculture during the subculture to reduce the contamination. So this is a very uh, good platform or a needed platform for the uh, continuous uh, maintenance of a big uh, mass uh, propagations of uh, plant tissue culture line. So it takes uh, shorter times or less maintenance. So uh, for the uh, bioreactor or the tissue culture system, uh, here is the example of uh, applications of uh, plant tissue culture where you can uh, enhance the protein, certain protein that you need to produce in the plant cell and uh, we can culture the plant cell to produce the protein that we need. So uh, you can see that the protein yield is, will be enhanced in the uh, uh, recombinant genetic recombinant line that uh, improve the productions of the specific protein. And uh, there are uh, another uh, uh, method also, uh, which is uh, in vitro plant co-cultivation technique, where you can co-cultivate two or three different types of the one species together uh, for the maximum output. For example, uh, you can uh, um, cultivate the amines, majors, hairy roots with the rooster, gabinius shoot together. So that is all the purpose for uh, uh, pharmaceutical uh, application. Okay, uh, thanks for watching. So uh, I have uh, provided the link. Uh, you can uh, address your questions in the link so that I can uh, answer the questions and also uh, there is a some uh, supplemental uh, reading that I will post in our uh, classroom chat. Uh, 